so in today's video I thought I would demonstrate a little something that I've been working on and it's not this character which is this something that I am working on uh, it seems that as of late I've been doing less animation work and more work involving rigging of uh, characters for other people so that they can use in their own animations now what you're looking at here is uh, one of the characters for a client that I'm working on right now and um, this character is mostly rigged up already. There's a uh, there's a few things that I have to iron out. Uh, I have to create another mouth for this angle. Uh, but for the most part, uh, all the assets have been created. And um, let me see here. And uh, you know, aside from some few minor tweaks, uh, I think this character is almost ready to go. Um, the more I work on these things, th and the more I find that uh, I still would like to have certain things be sped up a little bit more. There's certain things that just don't need to be done. I mean, the, uh, the whole character creation process is tedious, meticulous, boring work. I mean, it's very busy work. Uh, if it wasn't for the puppet producer panel, and the, um, the puppet producer panel and this is not a plug for the software I mean yes it is for sale it's on my website blah 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 but you can still create these characters the long way and it's such a painful process but if it wasn't for the puppet producer panel uh, I think I would go nuts um, and uh, as I was working on this last character I decided to uh, come to a stop and I uh, developed a new feature for it I haven't implemented it into the panel yet but I will on the next update which uh, if everything goes right I might be able to release after this coming weekend uh, so I want to go ahead and take a look at it uh, I, want, I want you guys to take a look at it real quick um, let's see here so you know how uh, there's certain angles that just uh, are basically you know mirror opposites of the same angle I don't even know why we have to do them in the first place but it has to be done take uh, take for example this 45 degree angle alright now in order to create the angle that corresponds to this one on the other side I believe it's the 315 angle um, I mean the ideal process I mean well not the ideal but uh, at this time the most efficient process is to basically copy this character paste them somewhere flip them over transform flip horizontal now you do have to get rid of all of these because at this point all this stuff is invalid okay the uh, where's my properties panel there it is so as far as the software is concerned, it still reads as uh, the face 45. Uh, the pivots are still labeled 45 degree angle pivots. Uh, the uh, left arm is still technically the right arm because the software is going to detect it as being the you know the the right arm, even though it's technically now the left arm. Um, there's a lot of stuff that has to be done, and you can go in here and manually change all these little numbers and le and uh, text and all that stuff which becomes uh, a bit of a pain in the ass uh, you notice how you have like the right forum lowercase right uppercase and then of course you have the number which has to be switched to uh, number uh, 315 on every instance uh, so the ideal solution would be to just kind of leave everything intact so that the pivot points are exactly at the place where you want them to be uh, of course, the easiest way to do it is to use Puppet Producer because with Puppet Producer you can uh, click the eye, and that's uh, the left eye, and then the right eye, and then the mouth, and then everything has been, uh, at least for those things, have been uh, configured properly. Now you have the left eye 45, uh, 315 pivot and the left eye itself has been renamed left eye 315 and so on so you can continue doing that now the problem gets because uh, when creating custom characters the proportions are not always the same so you end up having to retweak the skeletal systems and stuff so take for example this uh, face the head I'm gonna convert it into a 315 head and the pivot point 
did end up somewhere there. That, that one did. But this one, the bottom one, the phase 315 pivot is way down here. And uh, it should be over here uh, in, in terms of what the custom character is. So getting those those um, pivot points exactly where you need them to be uh, is an additional amount of work that is required. And uh, it can be a pain in the ass to uh, get, get everything right, like pixel by pixel. Just sometimes getting a... Uh, getting a bone just kind of off by a few pixels or too many pixels can be enough to just destroy the the positioning of that skeletal system so I was thinking about this a couple of days ago and uh, I decided to you know what from now on I don't want to have to go through this anymore and uh, so I came up with a new uh, command and at this time I haven't implemented it into uh, puppet producer just yet but I do have it set up as a command. I call it the flip it command. And uh, basically, it's a mirroring option. So I'm going to remove this real quick. If I select a character or any angle that I want, I select everything, including the pivot points. Now go to the commands uh, uh, menu and click flip it. And I get this option. I'm, I'm about to convert the 45 to a 315 angle and you have options for all these other ones I'm not sure if I'm gonna do anything with the top uh, to bottom and bottom to top because uh, or front to back because technically that might actually create more work for everybody uh, converting the uh, front to the back will get all the naming and everything placement correctly but it'll still have the face facing forward with the same symbol so uh, you're gonna end up having to somehow duplicate that symbol convert it into a back hit or something I'm gonna figure out a way to make, a way to make that work uh, without uh, drastically um, um, messing everything up so for the time being, I think when I release this, I'm going to leave out the front and back and the top and bottom ones. I'm just going to leave it for these three angles because at least those are the stable ones. The other ones are going to require a little bit more creative judgment and thinking. It's more of an artistic thing, you know. The technical aspect can be ha handled as far as uh, renaming and stuff but uh, and uh, repositioning. So anyways, I'm rambling. So we're at the 45 degree angle. We select 45 to 315. Click OK. Boom, single click operation. Now when you review this, let's take a look at the properties panel. This is the head nut 315. That's the face 315. That's the right eye 315 pivot. Left eye 315 pivot. There's the mouth 315 pivot. Let's click on the actual face, capital letter, face 315. Upper torso 315. Lower torso 315. There's the hip, I mean the the, tor the torso pivot, 315, the hip pivot, which is the lower torso, 315 pivot, and so on. And it actually retains like pixel precise positioning. Wow, that sounds like a mouthful. But pixel precise positioning of all your um, your pivot points exactly the way you had them here. And the naming is all done properly and it's all done in a single click. Now let's do this 90 degree angle. Command 90 to 270 and the 315. I mean the 335 to 225. Boom. All right. Let's put this in place here. Okay. So I literally just reduced the amount of work that is normally required in the rigging process by a good 40 to 50 percent uh, with that command alone so uh, as of the next update you guys are going to be able to uh, increase your your production speed by a good 40 to 50 percent in terms of the rigging aspect I mean uh, the way I see it, the less amount you have to spend on the development, the, the rigging, all the technical stuff, the more time you can spend on the actual creative side and uh, designing and, and doing things. So if you don't have to do too much of this tinkering around with pivot points and naming and all that stuff, then you can afford to spend a little bit more time creating um, the 30-something mouse shapes that you need for every <laughs> angle and all that other stuff that requires like you know drawing everything by hand and stuff so um, 
it's a step in the right direction. I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. And um, I should be releasing this. Hopefully, don't hold me to it. Uh, sometime next week, I got to finish a bunch of these uh, client projects right now, get them out of the way. Um, and uh, as soon as I have a little bit of free time, I'm going to basically take that command and put it inside of uh, the Puppet Producer as uh, one of the options. So uh, if you have any other questions or if you have suggestions for features, things that you are struggling with with Puppet Producer, things that you say, hey, I, I mean, I could use a little bit of help in, uh, with this particular step. You know, can we improve it? Can we speed it up? Let me know. I'll make sure that um, if it's something, you know, if it's something that it could be useful, I'll, I'll implement it. All right. Thanks.